What is going on everyone? It's Tay with Spec Detective with Gadgets and in this video I'll be taking a look at the LG G8X ThinQ. So here is the phone and here is some Mint Mobile service. I picked this up from B&H so I get three months of Mint Mobile service. Now let's go ahead and take a look around the outer shell of this box and it's pretty plain. We have LG G8 X then Q. So once I slide the sleeve off, I have two boxes here, the phone and then the dual screen case. So here is a quick box tour of the actual box. The back just explains what is inside of the box. The top is LG, nothing on the sides. Now let's go ahead and take a little quick tour around the dual screen box. And it's pretty simple, but it is a, an original LG accessory. And then it just says a, the details of the dual screen case. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the device first, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the dual screen accessory. Pulling the lid off the box, in normal LG fashion, you have a nice cloth to go ahead and keep that device nice and fingerprint free. Next up, you have the device, and it just has uh, features and specs of the device, which we'll take a look at. Then you have the warranty guide, quick start guide, and semi ejection tool. Next up, you have the charging brick, fast charge, and it is type A. And here are the volts on the back. Then here is the charging cable, which is type A to type C, as you see here. Then let's go ahead and get into the LG dual screen box. This is what we've all been waiting for, huh? Then how to install and remove the dual screen. Here's everything that comes in the box. Now I'm kind of interested at looking at the dual display case first. The back feels like leather, so it is plenty of grip, so it shouldn't slip out of your hand. Opening up the case, the hinge feels very smooth. And this is just um, information on how to get your phone out of the case without snapping off the port. Quick start guide. And then lastly, there's an arrow saying, hey, do not forget your little adapter piece. So this actually snaps on or mag it's magnetically attached by that magnet. And then on the bottom, you will go ahead and put your type C uh, charging cable onto that. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and get into the LG G8X, then Q. And this is very similar to the original G8 then Q, which is on the left, but the left has the fingerprint sensor on the back, which worked fairly decent for me. So that will be missed. The bottom is pretty much identical to each other. And then here it is on the left side, you see same buttons and everything. You have the up and down volume keys. And then on the right side, you actually have the power button here. And it's just very similar to the actual original LG G8. So you won't get too confused there, but here is the two year warranty. Well, they say second year, but I'm gonna go ahead and power this on to just get into it. Um, so while that's going ahead and booting up, let's go ahead and just go through the setup process really quick, but I just wanna really do the fingerprint uh, setup with you so you can see just about what you're gonna be facing. I'll go ahead and take the information from my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So 6.5 gigabytes of data will be used in transferring that information. So we'll go ahead and now set up the fingerprint sensor. And normally I like to do, if you follow me, I like to do the pen. So that's what I will use in setting this up. And I always require a pen to start up. Now here's the process sped up for you. And I use a few different fingers. And so now we have to go ahead and finish the setup off. And this is just saying, get the edges of your finger. And just like that, I'm done. And I can add more if I want to, which I probably will later. Now it's completing the setup. But as I noticed, here is the earpiece as well as it is the speaker. So you have dual speakers on this. It doesn't come through the screen like the original G8. And here is the screen of the case. And see, this is where you'll go ahead and slide your phone in. We'll go ahead and look at that. It has set up pretty much just like the Note 10. I got my logo and everything. It's a little bit more tweaking that I have to do, but that is just fine. Testing out the fingerprint sensor, here we go. Let's go ahead and do that again and wake it up. Press your finger on there. 
and it's not the fastest let's do it again with the left thumb um it, it opens every time it's probably not the fastest let's go ahead and see how it holds up against the note 10 plus so one two three and look at that the lg actually opened up first but it's all good so now i'm gonna go ahead and slide the phone in carefully and that was pretty easy you just snap the top in now let's go ahead and see how this looks as you see i get a clock and the date and some notifications on that little screen on the front opening it up it actually turned on the other screen and once i did my thumbprint i actually get the second screen now they are both 1080 so um, they are identical it looks really good it actually looks better in person here are all my options for using the dual screen so in a later video i'll go ahead and to more of that now what i wanted to do actually is take a look at uh video and audio using the screens so we'll first go ahead and let me do my fingerprint again and go ahead and get into youtube so we can take a listen So closing the case will go ahead and stop the audio from playing so we'll have to see if that's something it will do when using something like the music player perhaps but next up I wanted to go ahead and test out the cameras so I'll go ahead and take a selfie and as you see I can actually do um, a signature on the pictures and you are allowed to do so up to 20 characters so I'll be able to actually fit my entire name on there so that's pretty cool you can go ahead and have a special signature so let's go ahead and test the back camera out and see how detailed this is and I'm um, looking at it it looks really good actually it's all about lighting to me but you can see I took a quick snap of my JBL headphones and um, zooming in I don't see much green or noise at all I mean just look at the detail of the band itself uh, with the great with with good lighting I'm gonna say you can take um, pretty good pictures but I'll do more of pictures in a later video now next up what I want to do is let's go ahead and take a look at the controller feature of this the it's called the LG gamepad and I'm pretty excited about this so if you hit that button you are already have some pre-installed type of uh, gaming pads and then if you see this last one right here I actually created this one for the game on um, the mobile call of duty and I will have another video explaining how I did so but I'm gonna show you what it's like using the customized gamepad. 
and um, then I'll come back and talk to you about it. So here we go. So as you saw there was some of the gameplay, I was having a little bit of difficulty uh, navigating using the up, down, left, right uh, navigational um, part of the gamepad. I figured if perhaps I touched the screen first and then went back to using the gamepad, I did uh, was able to have some functionality there, but all too many times did it get stuck and that uh, actual button was not very usable. But I do think it is very cool to be able to use a gamepad playing a mobile game that's already just part of the screen. So thumbs up LG for that, and I will get that working. But one last thing before I forget, I wanted to show you that this dual display case can actually fold the other way. So you can fold it all the way back, but by doing so you are covering the rear cameras. So if you need to shoot using the rear cameras, you'll go ahead and have to fold it back to the original position. But I just needed to show you that to let you know it can fold all the way backwards. And if you unfold it just a tad bit, you see the second screen comes on. So it's very useful if maybe you're sitting down at a table and somebody wants to look something up. I just find that um, this dual display is very functional. Um, but I want to thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later. <laughs>